Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today we are looking at a brand new release from Trogues Brewing out of Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is their Flying Mouflon aged in bourbon barrels. Uh, their Flying Mouflon is basically their take on an American barley wine. It is a very, very hoppy beer uh, when you get it fresh. It ages fantastically. They haven't released in a while. I believe they released it on draft uh, about a year ago, but most of it, they brewed a big batch of it, and most of it went into bourbon barrels. It's been a while. I know it's at least a year. If it, I'm sure it's over a year, but I know it's at least a year. It's been sitting in the bourbon barrels. They haven't released too many barrel-aged beers. They're kind of starting to get more into that, releasing more of them, and they got this new bottling line that does these small 12.7-ounce bottles. This beer was a bit pricey. It was 48 bucks for a four-pack, so 12 bucks a bottle, uh, no discount at all. So let me get into glass so that you guys know how it smells tasty. Give me the final verdict on the Trogues Flying Mouflon aged in bourbon barrels. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Flying Mouflon bourbon barrel aged. Wow, wow, definitely a completely different beer. Very, very dark fruit forward, candied dry fruits, bourbon, vanilla, oakiness, a slight kind of a sweet pipe tobacco smell. Roasty caramel toffee. Wow, just an awesome smelling beer. And I guess the taste on the Flying Mouflon aged in bourbon barrels. Cheers. Oh, wow. That's really, really good. Wow, a completely different animal than Flying Mouflon. Right at the front of the tongue, sweet, sticky, uh, sugary notes. Middle of the mouth, big, 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 big caramel, dark fruits, dried candied fruits, a little bit of citrus in there, maybe a little bit of like a candied orange peel, uh, vanilla, toasted coconut, a little bit of oakiness in there, a slight kind of sweet, very, very, very subtle sweet char to it. Um, <clears throat> has to be from the barrels. Again, this sat in a barrel for a long time, from what I understand. Uh, definitely getting that big bourbon barrel characteristic, you know, that vanilla toffee flavor. Sweet aftertaste, in the aftertaste, more dark fruits, lots of dark fruits. Again, a slight kind of uh, citrus twinge uh, in there as well. Probably, you know, hanging on from the old, the old flying mouflon, a little bit of coconut in the back as well. You know, 13.4%, it's a big beer, like it tastes and feel, has a lot of body like a big beer, but it doesn't drink like it's that high in ABV. A little bit of burn, a little bit of a heat in the back, but very, very little residual sweetness or anything. It's a really, really nice beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict in the Trogues, Flying Mufon, aged in bourbon barrels, 13.4%. It's a brewery release only, so you're going to have to either trade for it or go to the brewery and get it. But guys, it's getting an A. Um, I've had some of their bourbon barrel releases, some of their older ones, and they've been okay. There hasn't been a whole lot of bourbon barrel characteristic to it, but this one, they absolutely nailed it. It's got that toasted coconut, vanilla, bourbon barrel goodness that you really want uh, in a good bourbon barrel beer. On top of that, Flying Mouflon's a really solid beer, and it's aged out very, very nicely. Turned into, you know, it's still an American-style barley wine, still a slight citrus hoppiness to it, but milled out a ton. All the flavors really come together for me. Very, very cohesive beer. Awesome stuff. Definitely worth the price. I'm, you know, I'm not too sad that I paid 40 bucks for a four pack. This one's gonna age really nice. So with that said, getting an A from me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.